and welcome to Nintendo at Gamescom. What a fantastic view that is. Coming to you from Cologne, Germany. And with that, hello and welcome to the Nintendo Red Cube. As always, we are joined by some fantastic guests. It's Andre. He's the senior producer of FIFA 19 on Nintendo Switch. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. you for the invite. It's of my course. pleasure. Every year. <laughs> yeah, right? Second year in a row. And it's, of course, Chris from Nintendo of Europe. Hello. Hey, Chris. Are you guys excited about what's coming now? Playing a game of football? Yes. I'm always excited. Perfect. And the so new season just started. Right. We have to talk about it. <laughs> so maybe let's just start with the basics. So what are the key facts that like players should know about FIFA 19 that they didn't know so far? For sure. So there's. Um, I was just talking to uh, to Chris earlier. There's a lot going into the game uh, this year. Uh, I start by naming Champions League, mm -hmm. which is uh, returning to FIFA after after a decade, yes. uh, and it's uh, it's been the most uh, asked about uh, feature uh, that we've been hearing from uh, uh, from players, and uh, it's not coming to the game just in a in a standalone tournament form, but it's actually integrated across all the various modes in the game. So you'll see Champions League. Europa League and the Super Cup being featured in career mode. You'll be able to play a Champions League final within the new kickoff. You'll be able to enjoy Champions League content released throughout the year in Ultimate Team and also the standalone tournament with, with its own, own full authentic structure and, uh, and teams. So um, definitely that's one of the biggest things uh, this year, but plenty more. Let's talk about UEFA Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Of course. Um, do you want to uh, actually get, uh, get into a match? Yeah, well, why not? Well, well, let's get into well, it, let's go and for then it. we continue talking about it. Yeah, so one thing that I like about being able to just play a quick game in the Champions yeah. League is that it makes you feel like there's always something at stake. Yeah, it is, for, uh, for sure. So, um, oh. pick your team. Okay. I will be Paris. Ooh. Advance. Uh. Yeah. So this is uh, this is an entirely new mode, yes. um, which basically um, is the actual authentic Champions League experience. We've even introduced a new commentary team mm -hmm. uh, that is specific to Champions League. Uh, Derek Ray and Lee Dixon. You see already the anthem and the intro for, for the Champions League. And it's such a um, glorious, I don't, know, I, I don't want it to sound as uh, too big of a, of a word, but uh, it's, it, it, it makes us so, uh, so, proud, so uh, proud that we've been able to actually introduce it in, uh, in the game. Yeah. Uh, because the emotion, the emotion that Champions League uh, offers to players is uh, second to second to none. Uh, because you know when you watch a Champions League game, the stakes are super high, uh, the feeling is different, everybody puts on their best game, uh, and that's what we try to do in, uh, uh, in, uh, in FIFA 19 uh, as well. Um, so this is your first uh, group match uh, after you selected Paris Saint-Germain. Go um, select play match. All right. And I'll just uh, I'll just try and uh, not concede as many goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all know the legendary status <laughs> of Limerick FC. <laughs> so how was uh, the score last year? I can't remember exactly. Uh, <laughs> well, we still have a score to settle. That's <laughs> more like it. <laughs> Um, so right from uh, right from the get go, you'll uh, you'll notice uh, a few things, especially in um, in visuals. And uh, Chris was just mentioning before the show, uh, we've introduced uh, the concept of uh, pitch degradation in the yeah. game. So as you play the game and as you tackle, as different um, types of steps are taken on on the pitch, the pitch actually degrades, and that although. Talking about it seems like a really minor thing. When you actually play the game, it adds so much depth to yeah. and authenticity to how so cool. visuals look. Yeah. Well, one thing that I find amazing about it is that you really genuinely see a visual difference between the first half and the second half. Yeah. Yeah. So it means that you feel like in the second half, oh wow, a lot has happened already. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's really cool. So all these intro sequences uh, have been built from scratch for, uh, for Champions League. Uh, and uh, you will also see the, the Champions Champions League here, the Champions League um, anthem uh, play. Uh, the teams uh, taking photos at the start of the match. It's uh, um, 
as I said before, it's it's meant to actually get you into that atmosphere, and, yeah. uh, immerse you in uh, in that experience. Shall we get into the action? Please. Um, all of the broadcast uh, package is also uh, introduced, so uh, you will see uh, all the authentic Champions League uh, team presentations, uh, score overlays. Um, all of the sponsors. All of the sponsors too. <laughs> <laughs> For the people I know wondering I why we are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I you know exactly what you're referring to. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it adds to the realism. Yes, it's, uh, um, it's the authentic competition. Oh, oh. Uh, it's still <laughs> early season. <laughs> yeah. Paris Saint-Germain is still sort of true, true. getting to know War it. Warming up, warming yeah. up. <laughs> so that I need to mention that Chris didn't have a chance to play this build station. Yeah. <laughs> so this has been tuned specifically for me. <laughs> So you would say it's a fair match. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you were sorry. I was. Uh, I interrupted you. <laughs> no, I was going to say that um, one thing that I think has happened a bit under the hood is that um, the striking has been changed quite yes. a bit, right? Yes. So the striking system has been entirely overhauled. Um, what we wanted to achieve uh, by doing that was to give players more options in front of goal and more more control, more precision in front of goal. So dipping shots, driven shots, cheap shots, finesse shots, all have been entirely um, rehauled. And uh, um, I don't know if you noticed them already, but you have, it's more in line with how you would expect a shot to play out. Uh, and you have more control over its curve, over the angle, um, uh, and it's much more rewarding when you actually uh, manage to land a really good shot. Well, what I like about it is that, um, on the one hand, uh, the all it's still sort of the normal shooting works still the same way. Oh, this is off ah. right. oh. uh, <laughs> But um, the the new shooting works in a way that you can add like the risk uh, system. Oh, you're talking about time uh, timed shots. Yes. So there's. Um, uh, there's a new mechanic we introduced, you're, uh, you're right. Um, if you double tap... <laughs> oh! If you double tap uh, uh, the shoot button, um, you're able to... If you time it right, you're able to increase your chances of actually that shot um, having a lot more power and a lot more precision. Now, it's an optional mechanic that, to your point, it's a high risk, high reward one. Um, because if you don't time it right, then uh, chances are a lot higher than the shot will go wide or it will be a poor shot. Yeah. Um, but uh, once you master that um, and uh, you choose the right moment when to use it, uh, it okay. can definitely give you the edge over your opponent, for sure. Um, but everything I said earlier about um, uh, the shooting system applies to all of the different types of shots, not just time finishing. Yeah. So Chris, what's going on? It's been uh, 20 oh, minutes already. <laughs> yeah, but not what I expected from FIFA. I was actually going to use this as a, a bridge to something that I've noticed uh, while playing FIFA 19 compared to FIFA 18 on Nintendo Switch, is that um, a lot of animations have been added and yes. the game really plays a lot more fluid, especially because um, there are so many defensive animations that have been added that you hardly make any tackles. And you can see that Andre is actually very good at stopping me in my tracks and making sure that my passes don't come through. Oh. <laughs> That's very generous. <laughs> so close. Uh, yeah, so the other thing um, uh, besides, uh, besides animation that uh, we did specific in, specific in gameplay um, is that we, uh, we changed a lot of the AI system. Uh, to actually make it feel uh, more human. Because mm. right now, um, when you're going to play uh, match after match, each match will feel different because the AI 
will try to mimic the real life tactics of the team uh, you're playing against. Oh, say, really? Yeah. So say you're playing against Manchester uh, City, for example, you will immediately be high pressured, exactly what Guardiola likes to do. Um, if you play against Barcelona, for example, you will see them playing uh, their tiki-taka style, moving the ball in short uh, passes, trying to um, trying to create more uh, more space in front of goal for for them. So this is something we call uh, team personality, uh, but there's also um, a brother to it or a sister called player personality. Oh, <laughs> Bappe. Sorry, I didn't make use of this moment. <laughs> but please continue about the player <laughs> personality. Yeah. So um, um, there's also a concept of player personality that we introduced in the game this year, where individual players will have individual playing styles that uh, cater to how they behave in real life on, uh, on the pitch. So, for mm -hmm. example, Cristiano Ronaldo likes to uh, go out wide, get the ball and then cut inside. Yeah. You will see him do that in the game. Messi likes to uh, come, come a bit um, uh, deeper, get the ball uh, to his feet, dribble, make a play. Uh, do a skill move. So the AI did not do skill moves until until this year at, at all. all. And all those uh, things contribute to the game feeling totally different versus uh, versus last year. So, so I guess you had a whole team analyzing every single player <laughs> and how he likes to do things. Yeah, um, we actually have uh, um, have a, a big team uh, here in Cologne. Uh, data collection and, uh, and licensing that uh, are basically working with uh, a lot of people around the world to analyze uh, players and teams uh, and everything that's uh, that's going on and they basically prepare um, uh, prepare a whole bunch of, of things for for us to be able to use Fantastic. And they're great <laughs> yeah but it also must have been very challenging for you to put all of these features um, in in the switch version because there's so many additions that yes. that's uh, that you feel that make the game feel much more fluid yes uh it's been um now after the first year uh it's been good that the team actually had a chance to get more familiarized with uh, with the hardware with uh how they can optimize even even more what they can uh do to cater to uh, to its strengths and uh, we had that advantage on our side as well because this is the second year after uh, after all yeah. uh, and they did a great uh, a great job i'm here just representing them <laughs> uh, but they they take all the credit uh, because the game looks stunning uh, plays beautiful yes. and uh, has a lot more depth than uh, than last year so what are the, what is the the feature that you've added that you're most proud of that oh, you've achieved my my own personal favorite uh, the new kickoff for sure yeah. so uh, we're um, we've just announcing it at Gamescom uh, this year, and we're, uh, we're letting everyone uh, enjoy it. Um, it's basically an entire, an entire um, overhaul of kickoff, which was just a one-off match for the most part, that people would kind of get used to the game and play with, with friends. But the main, uh, the main challenge with it, it was that it was never persistent. You didn't get any sense of progression or real accomplishment. And say, I was play, we were playing for a number of, of years and you, were, you always told me that, hey, I'm better than you in, in FIFA. And I always said the opposite, I'm better than you in FIFA. Now, that's not going to be just hearsay because the game will actually track your progress and your matchup oh, oh. <laughs> always. Yeah. And so, uh, it's something I am really excited yeah. about because when I was a kid, um, I don't remember which footy it was, but there was one where we I played, it, I played it with a friend yeah. and we played it for um, more than 200 games and it really kept the score yeah. and it kept the goal difference and it yeah. was... Yeah, I think it was lounge mode or something similar, but uh, yeah, that's the intent to create more, to cre one, to create progression, uh, give, give people a sense of um, accomplishment um, and to also be able to customize and diversify their own experience in the game because we're we're also introducing the concept of house rules yeah kick off. do you want to have a look sure uh, I'll forfeit this match so that doesn't count <laughs> <laughs> I will accept that <laughs> um, so yeah, we can go in um, in kickoff, um, and um, 
here basically this is where you select uh, your profiles and um, go to select name basically yeah. enter a new name and this is how you create uh, a local a local profile okay. that you can then use to identify uh, to identify yourself at all times and everything is stored um, on this uh, on this profile basically um, ready okay oh actually let's go back okay and let me show the house rules as, uh, uh, yes. as well so uh, by pressing the right stick uh, you go into house rules and there's there's a bunch of things uh, here I was mm. uh, saying earlier that Champions League is integrated as well and if someone for example wants to just play a Champions League final with a friend he can just go in here and activate Champions League nice. he plays a one-off final together with his friends but there's also much more to it because for example you can play uh, home and away you can play best of three you can play you can play best of five and the game tracks that and determines the winner at, uh, at the end. Not only that, but you can also mix and match different rules together. So yeah, this is actually something that's only possible on the Nintendo Switch yeah. version, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So King of the Hill, um, and this is uh, classic and pretty self-explanatory, but the winner gets to keep his team while the loser has to change his team. Um, so if you combine King of, King of the Hill with best of five, it means that every time the loser will have to change his team, which adds a little bit of yeah. strategic uh, depth to it. Uh, Random Teams is um, one of my personal favorites um, <laughs> because it gives you a subset of teams to choose from. But what's interesting about it is that say for example you get Chelsea in your first subset and I get Real Madrid in my first subset and I choose Real Madrid you're going to think twice because you're not happy with Chelsea against Real Madrid but you're going to think twice about randomizing because you might get even worse teams in your next pool and you might oh, I'm going to stick with Chelsea for this one right so um, uh, really um, really quite an engaging mode that we hope people will enjoy and be able to always come back to and just change the way uh, oh, the way they I'm, uh, I'm they pretty yes. sure they will <laughs> it really feels like the kickoff creates a lot of new friend dynamics yes, yes. and yes. Um, of course you can now also play online uh, with your friends yes. so We're it introducing online friendlies yeah yeah friend <laughs> dynamics <laughs> <laughs> dynamic. enemies um, and there's also something that uh, people have always been uh, vocal about yeah. um, no rules <laughs> so basically there is nothing no falls no offsides no bookings Back nothing you 99. can yeah you can play for free and the other one that uh, is uh, a favorite um, amongst players is survival where uh, every time you score a random player from your team gets sent kicked off it's my favorite <laughs> yeah. one yeah <laughs> it's my favorite this is one. such a great idea yeah yeah like this is yeah. endless replayability exactly so have you talked to your fans about that and like heard what they think about it like yeah. i guess they are super psyched yeah they are super uh, psyched because um now there there's basically a new mode in in the game that uh they can come back to and come back to and enjoy with their friends in various ways yeah. so all of these different combinations uh obviously there's a finite finite number of of them but uh it allows you to enjoy the game for a longer period of uh, of time and not get bored okay <laughs> did you want to go into it sure okay all right <laughs> let's do it because i have one really important question later on but all right so you see now that uh king of the hill is active best yeah. of five is active and survival is active <laughs> So whoever uh, scores a goal is happy and not happy at the same exactly. time. Exactly. All right. <laughs> are, you go are you going to go with PSG again? I can do that. <laughs> I guess this is uh, sort of a self-imposed uh, <laughs> king of the hill. I'll go with uh, Juventus. Uh, nice. Right. <laughs> there he is. Sounds like a reasonable <laughs> setup. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that must have been interesting that uh, Ronaldo decided yeah. to change teams. It was, <laughs> believe me, it was very interesting. Uh, but uh, we always, I mean, uh, in FIFA, anything like that can happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we always have a plan B in case, uh, yeah. in case it does. Uh, there's also something that I didn't mention about the new kickoff. You see here, welcome to the new kickoff. That's where once we get a chance to actually play and build a, build a rivalry together, 
this is where certain key messages will, uh, will appear. And if we go in leaderboards, for example, you will see a host of different stats being tracked uh, between each other. And you yeah. can actually track this against any of your opponents. So you can see who has the better position, who uh, takes more shots on goal. Uh, so basically, passes. it's the place where you find who owns the bragging rights. Exactly. Exactly. This is also a bit more of a proper stadium here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and one other thing we did this year um, in the spirit of authenticity as well. I don't know if you noticed last year that if you were playing a game uh, in the Premier League or the Bundesliga or La Liga, yeah. they were mostly looking and feeling the same. Yeah. Um, right now, uh, we've introduced 100% um, authentic official broadcast packages for each of those leagues. Oh, so great. exactly as you see on, on TV, uh, the EPL, uh, the La Liga and the Bundesliga Bundesliga will show in the game and that makes such a big difference um, I can imagine uh, we can after this match we can also look at those as, uh, as well right good oh, there's a there's a roar outside yeah <laughs> they're all cheering for you <laughs> no I don't big think FIFA 19 <laughs> fans <laughs> Ref. <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't put the ref off? <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Kidia. So, now I'm going to get uh, a player uh, kicked off. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to play uh, in 10. Is it a random player? Yes. So okay. You it is did a random see who player. it was? Yes. Let's see. Uh, oh, so, so Matuidi, is, Matuidi off. Is, is off. You can see that sign uh, yeah. there, which is different than a player getting red yeah. carded. Uh, <laughs> and you can't. You you can change. You can swap that position, but you can't actually swap the player in or out. I love that. And now he's going to have a lot more space. <laughs> yeah, you can already see it. That's in the. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh come on! <laughs> it's outside the box. I talked with the referee before the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you mentioned it earlier, and I oh, <laughs> and uh, I didn't get a chance to say anything about it. But um, uh, one of the most requested, uh, the most requested uh, feature from um, uh, from the fans and players last year was the ability to play with friends online yeah uh, and we added that ability uh, this year through online friendlies so over a five match season um, your history is being recorded there as as well um, you can play with friends uh, with any of your friends online uh, you create uh, you create a game uh, an invite gets sent uh, um, your friend accepts the invite and he can join your session great and you can do that not only in fifa but also in ultimate team we have to talk about that. <laughs> of course. We really do. Because that's what I wanted to ask you when I said I have an important oh. question. So let's talk about FIFA Ultimate Team, Absolutely. the most popular game mode, if yes. I might say so. Yeah. What can players expect? Yeah, so um, there's, uh, uh, there, there has been quite a bit of work uh, done in Ultimate Team as well. So uh, Champions League uh, is, is the biggest thing there as well because uh, it's been deeply integrated in uh, in the mode and they will see Champions League content um, appear throughout the year, uh, which I hope they, they, will, uh, they will be enjoying. Um, the, other, the other thing that I just mentioned is the ability to finally play with friends, uh, with, um, uh, with your no. fat club. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> which, uh, which is absolutely great because a lot of players uh, are spending uh, a lot of time building their, uh, their teams yeah. up and then they can't actually brag uh, to their friends and, uh, uh, and win against them. So now they can, uh, they can do that um, as well. Um, and uh, last but certainly not least, um, if we, I mentioned before that we added authentic broadcast packages for La Liga, EPL and Bundesliga, uh, we didn't forget about Ultimate Team at all and uh, we changed the broadcast package there as well to make it more modern, feel like uh, uh, 2018, <laughs> uh, so you will see that uh, in there as well. Sounds really good.
I think this. Oh no no no! It's always such a close match between you. <laughs> <laughs> I think really? th that we both are quite um, focused on sort of defending and obstructing the other yeah. opponents. <laughs> But I always love when, like, Andre is talking about new stuff coming to FIFA 19, and he's really relaxed until, <laughs> like, this very last moment when you're on <laughs> his But this goal. is also how it goes when you play it in your living room. I mean, you're just <laughs> talking with each other, and then there's this sort of gentleman's rule that you stop talking as soon as yeah. you are <laughs> close to the box. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that was a mistake. What I also like about the survival mode is like, how many times did someone tell, is, tell me something like, I would even win against you with like five players. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, exactly. show it to me. Exactly, right? exactly. So. Now they have no chance escaping that. So Chris, it's on you yeah. to get one of your players out now. Oh. Yeah, this is interesting that I actually want one of my players to be sent <laughs> <off>. Right? <laughs> He's making a play. Good try. Yeah. But it's interesting, you can already see that the, the pitch is starting to see yeah, yeah. some wear and tear. For oh, sure. There's um, and there's also been, uh, except uh, apart from uh, apart from the pitch, there's been a lot of work uh, done on visuals overall. So, uh, lightning and shadows, uh, more precisely, uh, have been have seen a lot of work just to make them more dynamic, uh, more um, uh, deeper uh, yeah. in a, in a way, and uh, give uh, give players a sense of realism of yeah. added realism in the game. Um, we're also uh, adding quite um, quite a bit of La Liga content in, into the game, uh, a lot of stadiums, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, and for those uh, for those stadiums, actually we oh, no. oh. Uh, we used um, a very different uh, technique, and you will see that they have a lot more Meunier. One time uh, I didn't look they at have the a lot more details in their architecture and how they've uh, how they've been they are being portrayed in the game. Uh, now let's see which player got sent off from uh, from your. Oh, Rabio! Oh, that's good, Rabio. Yeah. I have I have more room now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, you can see it immediately. <laughs> I just want to wait it out. So I feel like we have talked about so much already, <laughs> but like, is there anything else which we haven't talked about yet? Because there are so many changes, I can't believe it, honestly. There are, yes. Um, I think we, co we covered quite, uh, quite a bit. Um, I do hope, uh, as I was saying, my personal favorite is, uh, is the new kickoff. Yeah. Um, and I do hope... Oh. I do hope players uh, players will uh, will enjoy it and start playing around with it, and uh, they'll probably discover even new ways and more yeah. even more engaging uh, ways to play than we ever than we ever thought. Uh, oh. oh my God! <laughs> Pretty Marco good. Verratti. Well, I guess someone is going off again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who it is. No, I'm pretty sure yeah. they will. Like well, it's yeah. What is really yeah. nice is that um, what you can really see is um, the game is more fluid. Yeah. There's so many um, uh, visual changes as well as gameplay changes, and there are many more ways to, to play, play with your friends, yes. both offline and online. Yeah. 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 And uh, I think that makes me at least look really forward to uh, FIFA 19. Yeah. Let's see who who will send off. Oh, oh, that's oh, even no. better. Okay. <laughs> you, have, you have a minute. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. <laughs> even better. <laughs> Silva. Yeah, and like you said before, Chris, there are obviously, of course, big changes, but also all these small details, all this love that you put into the game and try to make it no. even better than it was in FIFA 18. I think it will definitely pay off and people will love it. Yeah. Uh, we, we do hope so because uh, uh, teams uh, both in Bucharest and, and Vancouver have put in a lot of effort uh, to do this and um, especially coming off World Cup as well because we added World Cup just a couple of months ago to 18 um, and we've seen a lot more players come into the game. We do hope that all those uh, players get to enjoy 19 as well. Yeah. Are you also talking to like celebrities in case of like 
hearing what they have to say about the game and <laughs> if they have some kind of game changes they would like? We always get input from everyone equally. Okay, <laughs> Nobody right. has, a, has a bigger say than, uh, uh, than anyone. Well said, well said. <laughs> Except Chris. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, André, thank you so much thank for this presentation. Much. I think the fans will love FIFA 19. Looked pretty fun so far. I absolutely adore the survival mode and yeah. I can't wait to try it out. Chris, thank you very much. Thank you guys for showcasing the game and I hope you guys have lots of success with the game and also a great time here at Gamescom. Thank you guys for joining in and I hope you guys will be with us for the next Nintendo Red Cube show. See you. Thank you.